What's up, guys? We are over at the Thriftway in Trenton, New Jersey. About to do a little episode of Big on a budget. We got 50 bucks. And it's gonna last us for a week. So for all you aspiring bodybuilders out there that uh, are limited on your funds, I'm gonna show you Jason Huss style. Keep it simple, keep it clean on how to get big on a budget. Let's do it. In my water. Okay, you guys. Bakery? Forget about it. It's not gonna happen. Um, at least when I was coming up as a bodybuilder, they weren't a priority. I um, took the bulk of my money and put it towards proteins uh, and rice. I kept it really simple and really clean. So let's find Let's find some protein. Good brother, you. You're good. People wondering what the fuck the team of cameras is following me around for. Cost effective wise, chicken, uh, I think is gonna be the way to go here. We're gonna go with uh, chicken breast, uh, skinless, boneless. And um, we could go with the skin and bone in, but we're trying to, uh, we have to stay within that $50 range, so we need to uh, be a bit more precise um, with the amount of money we have. Uh, and to equate um, how much skin and bone is on the chicken, we don't have time for all that. And I'm trying to make sure that we get, uh, we try to hit that 1.5 grams of protein per lean body mass um, for, let's say, the average 150, 100. 60, 180 pound bodybuilder coming up, okay? When I was coming up, I was about, at 18, I was on uh, 190, so, and I tried to eat everything I could. I wasn't too concerned. I didn't really have a budget because I worked my ass off, and as soon as I knew I wanted to be a bodybuilder, I went and got a job at a restaurant, and so food was readily available for me, so I was very creative. Um, so, I'll try to break this down for you. So you don't have to go rob and steal and kill uh, in the event that you don't have enough money to make it happen, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we got 50 bucks. <clears throat> yeah, we need to make this happen. So pounds-wise, let's say two pounds per day. That's going to put us at a six. So we got seven, six, and yeah, we're shy of uh, 14 pounds, but that's gonna have to do it, bro. Because you've got 1049, 1041, 1020, 30, and 40. So we're about a dollar or two shy of 40 bucks. That means we only have $11 to spare for the carbohydrate intake uh, that we re will require to grow. So with that being said, I need a wet nap. And let's aim for some rice because rice, I think, coming up, I was hell bent on getting in rice. Digestion wise, I felt my body and um, other people that I have worked with, um, Rice seems to be safe in terms of the, the digestibility of it and very effective um, when it comes to weight training, getting a good pump. As far as the type of rice, whether it be brown or white, it's really not much of a concern right now. Uh, the goal is to, to stay within the, our budget. Uh, so we're gonna go with the most cost-effective um, rice that we can get on store brand, obviously, is gonna be the way to go. Um, to figure how much rice we're gonna need for the week or per day, we need to let's 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 aim for 40 to 45 grams of carbohydrates per meal, six five to six meals per day. Okay, so this this bag here is a bit more expensive, but they actually uh, are detailing the amount of servings that are in a five pound bag. So we've got about 48 servings here, and a serving is a quarter of a cup. 
and we're going to need a cup and a half raw uncooked per day about eight servings so eight days worth of rice in a five pound bag okay so now that we got the math down and this nice expensive bag helps us out we're going to swap it out for the cheap five pound bag and at 329 that leaves us with around seven seven dollars left to go buy ho-hos all right guys uh we got seven bucks left and i think some condiments will be the way to go because i like my sauces don't even be fancy but we're gonna get wild here we're gonna get a little mustard and maybe some hot sauce how about that all right so let's think cheap which is typically at the very bottom cheap i don't know how much mustard you guys eat but we're gonna have to be conservative here we're gonna go with this store brand it's not necessarily a store brand, but it's the cheapest one. $1.19, uh, hot sauce. I'm going to go with um, Crystals because I'm from the South. And it is $1.09. And no, I'm not going to go with the fucking Sriracha because I'm Asian. I'm going to go with Crystals. Now, that leaves us with... You got dollar nineteen, dollar nine. <clears throat> We've got a five dollars and change left to go. And with that being said, I want to aim. I want to aim towards some more protein um, and a bit of fat. So I think some whole eggs is going to be the way to go. Being Asian, I am uh, lactose uh, intolerant and. I don't want to spend two days on the fucking toilet shitting out all the food that I just bought. Because that won't work, right? Um, some research shows that it is the best protein source available. Plenty of folostatin, I guess, within the yolks. And uh, plenty of good nutrients in there. So we need to find the best bang for our buck here. And these guys right here, 18 pack. Pugliese Farm. At 349 for 18, that seems to be the way to go. Okay. Always check your eggs. Because if you don't check your eggs and you get home and one's broke, well you, you're out of an egg. We're good here. So with about five dollars remaining, three fifty. Uh, 470, a little shy of five dollars remaining. We might have a dollar left. And with that dollar, I might treat myself to an apple. Let's make it happen. All right, with the dollar, I got to get really creative here. <laughs> we might be able to buy like a carrot. All right, guys, we got roughly a dollar left to spend. Uh, with that being said, um, me personally, this is, this is exactly how I would have done it uh, coming up as a bodybuilder. Uh, I would have kept it clean, simple, straight to the point, um, and cost effective as possible. With a dollar left, uh, I would buy fruit. Uh, and my preference, uh, my fruit preference would be in this case, an apple, apples. But we're going to have to find the cheapest apple, regardless of the type and the flavor that I prefer. I actually, I'm a big fan of Honeycrisp, but those are typically very expensive. And we're going to have to weigh out how many apples we can get for a buck. So let's just grab a couple and get a ballpark idea for how much these are gonna weigh. And we'll go from there. One. Shit, we can only get a half pound. Tits. All right, with that being said, the cheapest apples are $1.90 a pound and we get a dollar, so that means we get a half a pound. Okay. 
suck. I mean, the last seven days, we're going to have to cut these damn apples into seven days' worth. That's, that sucks. Well, that's it, man. One apple. We're done. <laughs> oh. I think uh, if my math is right, we've kept it under 50 bucks. Um, we've got the, the bare essentials for what it takes to build a lean um, bodybuilder. Uh, protein and carbohydrates, uh, some essential fats, the eggs, uh, and to dress things up to make life uh, not so mundane. Uh, some condiments, some hot sauce, and some mustard, and an apple. What's up, brother? I'm good, man. All right. Trying to keep it under 50 bucks today. So we're on a budget. Did I get a price break for damaged goods? That's a joke, bro. Relax. Man, we got 90 cents left. I think I'm gonna go buy another apple. You got another apple? And to make sure we're safe, I'm gonna weigh it. Take the stem out. A little leaf in there. Okay, I think we're good. I hope we're good, we'll find out. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, my man. All right, guys. Let's make this happen. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh. All right, guys. We uh, we made it. We got out of there with. Uh, Plenty of protein, uh, carbohydrates, and uh, two treats for the week um, with 14 cents to spare. And uh, let's take this and head home, get to the kitchen, and prepare it in, in such a way that um, will be hopefully somewhat enjoyable. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're back at the house, uh, ready to prepare some of this food. Uh, we've got our chicken here and our rice. Our eggs, and our two apples, and our condiment. Yeah. And um, we are going to prepare food for a day. Uh, we're going to measure out about two pounds of chicken. And the rice we're going to measure, I think it was a cup, a cup and a half raw, which will equate to about six cups of rice cooked. And uh, well, let's get started. As far as how I like to prepare my chicken. Um, some people bake, some people might saute, grill. I actually prefer boiling my chicken. And boiling it at, boiling it at a relatively medium to, to high medium temperature to maintain its its moisture. Because when you, when, when you bake your chicken or you grill it, it tends to get dried out, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, if you're cooking on high heat, um, and I, yeah, I don't like eating dry chicken. I'm sure nobody else does. So yeah, boiling might be might might seem a bit uh, bland, but it, it keeps things simple. It's quick, and um, it keeps it somewhat chewable and swallowable. All right, let's get let's let's, let's start with the rice since that's probably gonna take a bit longer. All right, we need a cup and a half. As a cup. Oh, really. Cup and a half. Boom. One cup of rice. You're gonna use two cups of water. Now, rice to rice, this is gonna vary. And depending on how much water you use, I think we'll also change the glycemic index of the rice um, the more water you use the mushier and water is going to get therefore the digestibility of it is going to be much quicker uh, i actually prefer to have a slower digestive um, rice uh, that's about right boom white rice 
rice. Rice is ready to go. All right, off to the chicken, guys. Throw some water in the pot. That should get things started. All right, for about two pounds, we got our scale here. It's two pounds for the day. About a half pound. Turn off the phone. Right at two pounds. To increase the efficiency and rate at which this cooks, we are going to cut them up a bit, but also try to portion them somewhat evenly so that we can have about about six meals. Four, five, six, six meals. Somehow we're going to. Yeah, we're not going to divide that into six. This is evenly cut. Oh. You're not eating for pleasure as a bodybuilder. You're eating for purpose. Okay. As far as our eggs go, we got a couple ways we can tackle this. I mean, you just want to get really simple. We can just hard boil some eggs, throw them in there with our chicken. Um, but to make our day seem uh, I guess our meals seem a little bit more appealing. I like my eggs sunny side up. So we're going to pan fry. Today, since I'm starving, I'm going to do three. There we go. I used to be a cook for a number of years. And I was a, I was the grill and saute guy for a, a restaurant. And it definitely aided in the food consumption department for myself. medium-high heat. I'm very particular about my, my eggs. Eggs are ready. Boom. Sunny side up. A little salt, a little pepper, some hot sauce. Those will be beautiful. Chicken is going to be a minute, as well as the rice. All right, guys, everything's ready. We've got um, the chicken is done. The rice is uh, ready to go. We're going to uh, measure out one meal here. Let's see what that looks like. A cup of rice. Rice came up. It's nice and fluff, not too moist, not too dry. So yeah, I've cooked plenty of rice in my day. Don't ask why. All right, a cup of rice. That's roughly 40, 45 grams in carbohydrates. Okay. And chicken. Boom. We only got three eggs. So, be creative. We'll do uh, maybe an egg every other meal. With this meal, we'll definitely have an egg. Voila. All right, guys. Uh, we got six meals here. Uh, like I said, it's about 40, 45 grams of carbohydrates. Um, roughly 30 to 35 grams of protein per meal. 
uh, and with some we've got three eggs here. Uh, I think um, for the average guy getting going, this is this is a great start. Um, I, I would if I was eight, you know, eighteen years old. I mean, how many eighteen-year-old kids could eat this clean um, when you're on a budget? On a budget, or not. How many choose to eat this clean? This is, like I said, this is a great start. Uh, we've got some condiments here. We've got some mustard if you want to make things. Um, if you want to get fancy, uh, some hot sauce. Uh, one of our apples, in the event that you feel you've got a sweet tooth, uh, and some sea salt, black pepper, for a little, a little bit of spice. As far as the sea salt go uh, goes, I'm a uh, big believer in um, having plenty of of good unprocessed sea salt. Every bodybuilder, every athlete needs sea salt in their diet uh, to stay properly hydrated and maintain. Um, Good water retention levels. Uh, you, if you're not salting, you're going to have um, aldosterone issues. I know there's a there's a um, uh, there is a big belief I think with certain bodybuilders in the industry that they do not salt their foods, which is uh, is totally fucking ludicrous to be an athlete and not utilize sea salt. Salt uh, is an essential mineral. You have to have it, especially exerting uh, and sweating as much as you guys do male female i don't care who you are you need to salt your food uh to stay uh properly hydrated uh, and to keep muscles and your brain firing properly with that being said um that concludes our our day meal prep and uh getting big on a budget 50 bucks for a week right here bro you guys, you know, it's, it's it's definitely possible. The, uh, I think simplicity uh, is key. Like I told you before, we're not eating for pleasure. This is bodybuilding, and you're eating for purpose. And the purpose is to get big. Well, this is how you do it. All right?